Can anybody camp here? I think so. It's a, it's a public recreation site. Okay. Let's get out and take a look. Hi, I'm Liz, and this is Charlie. We've been living and traveling in our minivan Opal for two years now, and we love taking you guys on new and spontaneous adventures. So hop in the van, and let's go somewhere. Look at that cool van over there. I know, it says toilet right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like the prettiest walk to the bathroom. <laughs> Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. His and hers. You guys want to go on a hike with me? I just want to check them out. I don't have to go. So you guys can come along. Oh, it's a women's room. <laughs> Shall we compare and see which one's cleaner? Okay, pretty typical. There's actually toilet paper, but do you guys see anything wrong with that picture? I do. Okay. And you guys placing your bets yet? <laughs> of course nobody's in there. I don't know, it's pretty similar. But the toilet paper, so it's a brand new roll. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's more bugs in here. One just bit my face. Gosh, it's beautiful out here. What do you think, babe? I don't know. Um, um, they all look about the same. They're just kitty corner from each other. I wonder if it's more flat over by the Jeep though. Probably. It's free camping. Yeah. Right on the lake. We really need a watercraft. Even if it's just like a blow up raft. Yeah, or like a stand up paddle. Mm hmm. Would be fun. What do you guys think we could fit in Opal that would be reasonable? Something that I could fish off of and Charlie could uh, feel confident enough to bring his camera to take photos from. That would fit in Opal. That would fit in Opal is the key there. Right. <laughs> We'd probably full. have to sacrifice something. Yeah. We don't need clothes. Now that we're settled, we're gonna cook up some lunch, thinking about having some uh, taco potatoes. I guess that's what you call them. <laughs> taco taters. Western style fried potatoes. So uh, peppers and onion and pepper, and peppers and onion and pepper. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> peppers, onions, potatoes. Um, garlic, uh, did I say onion? Taco spices. Taco spices, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> Somebody, uh, smelled the cooking. We got a gray jay up here. They call them, uh, camp robbers. Uh, Another one right days. up there. Um, where's the Stellar J? There was. It was in the tree over there. 
It's thinking about it. Well, you don't have anything in your hand. It doesn't know that. You want a piece of potato? No, I don't want to feed the birds. Oh, there's, there's the stellar the jay. Just landed. Hi, are you trying to get in on this? In there. Oh. <laughs> Hello. They're so beautiful. visitors today. The people in the yellow Jeep, they uh, came back from fishing and uh, brought us back a fish. Well, they didn't mean to bring us back a fish. They just uh, didn't want to clean it and bother taking it home, so they gave it to us. I'm going to show it to you guys, and then I'll get it cleaned up. But look at the view. Wow. Look at this fish Liz didn't catch. I mean, Liz caught. I mean, no. I wish I could say I caught this beautiful rainbow, but uh, the people in that beautiful Jeep uh, caught it. They just got back with, with their boat and uh, said they weren't going to bother taking it home and gave it to us. Gave it to us. So we're going to have it for dinner. So Liz is the, uh, the fisherman out of us. The fisherman. The fisherwoman. <laughs> So yeah, to clean up, I guess, it's sandy down here. Um, you have to step out if you. Yeah, my, yeah, whatever, okay. <laughs> like my feet. Crocs and socks. Crocs and socks in the water. So when you clean a fish, you wanna make sure that you're, and I hope my play knife is sharp enough for this, but you, you see the little uh, poop hole right there? You wanna make sure that you're getting right underneath of it and try not to cut the bowels, but I'm gonna go all the way up to the neck there. And don't cut towards yourself, but I have to, because my knife is not doing so well and the fish is slippery. Okay. And yeah, if you're grossed out by this, don't watch the next minute or so. <laughs> Here's, the stomach right there, it looks like it's got a nice full stomach. There's the liver, nice and healthy looking. The lungs. Can you guys see this? Yeah. That right there is the lungs. And then I'm just gonna kinda get up close to the brain and those guts released. It's a messy job. Okay. Get the pooper out of there. All right, there goes the pooper. It looks like it ate a big fat worm. <laughs> Might have been what they were using. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be digested like that. Okay. Well, maybe if they kept it on a string I like that in. Yeah, YouTube will allow showing this. <laughs> <laughs> right in the spine, it's always really bloody. So we gotta clean that out real good. Yeah, 
You always want to do this away from your camp. As much as possible. So you don't attract bears and other animals? I am a terrible player. So I think, what do you want to do? It's too small to really stake up. Well, I don't care. And my knife is coming. I could try filleting it. We could just do whatever with it. Okay, I'm gonna cut the head off. You guys don't need to see this. But to cut the head off, I was just kind of go behind the final gill and um, cut the back of the neck, and then that gets the brunt of the work done. And then you can take them off. Take the head off. And I don't eat the eyes. Some people do. So it's just us here at this campground now. The Jeep people left. Looks like uh, some dark clouds pulling through. Might see some rain tonight. Might see some thunder and lightning. You know, there's a lot of cars in the parking lot for Rias Lake fishing camp, but we haven't even heard a peep from over there. And it's a Saturday. You guys see all the fish rises? Just went under. Did you see him? There he is. What is it? Is it a beaver? It's either a beaver or an otter or something. As you can see, it started raining. A lot. Yep. You're, you're cooking. I'm still cooking. Oh yeah, I gotta go store that. <laughs> Bye beaver. Bye beautiful lake. I'll be back. I think the main rain has passed us. Because it looks like blue skies again. Oh, uh, there's been a few people coming and going. Um, and these people just put in, in the middle of the rain. <laughs> Liz is finishing up our dinner. But, uh, it's trying to catch the loon again. Probably catch him again later. I'm going to make some, uh, trout pesto. Charlie did the honors of making sure there was no bones and I'll be dumping it in there in a few. Just sitting here 
looking at the lake. Sounds like the people in the boat are coming in. I'm gonna be out on the boat listening to country music fishing. Well, the fishing guys left. And now we have this place all to ourselves. The entire campsite. Which is kind of crazy. On a Saturday that we found a place on a lake when it was 94 degrees out. <laughs> and, uh... We have it all to ourselves. But it's so quiet here and peaceful. Wow, it's really quiet here. Very Good morning. It's quite a peaceful night. It was so quiet out here last night. It sure is a quiet morning too. I thought for sure some fishermen would be out here early in the morning, but because it was kind of busy last night. But no. We have the lake all to ourselves. <laughs> Seems to be a theme here in British Columbia. We keep getting these lakes all to ourselves. There must be a lot of them. We're trying a new kind of coffee. This is kicking horse coffee. It's made outside of Golden, BC. And let me read the description. It smells really good. It's organic fair trade. It's roasted right in the Rocky Mountains. It's meant to wake up the world. Wake up with us. In the blend story, we picked three sisters. There's other kinds. Um, a trio of towering Rocky Mountain peaks inspires a blend packed with a triple punch of light, medium, and dark roast. Great taste meets new heights. So essentially we're like trying them all, right? <laughs> In one little coffee. So I'm excited to try this. We don't often get fancy coffee, but when in Rome, or when in Canada, do Canadian things. Wake up, honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels, too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a bear and of fun. Growing up is just a trap. Cheers. Don't it seem like <laughs> You gonna try it first? We'll try it at the same time.
It's very smooth. It is smooth compared to the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like I could have gone with an extra like half scoop or a full scoop. No, I think it's good. But the flavor is awesome. Yeah, it doesn't have that that <laughs> yeah. the other coffee does. <laughs> yeah. When you're drinking coffee black, it the quality of the coffee really matters. Yeah. It's up there. Potato breakfast. So mix of sweet potatoes and red you... potatoes, yellow potatoes, garbage, and peppers, onions, garlic, sausage flavoring, salt, pepper. That's about it. So we figured out why Opal was losing some air. There is a screw in her tire. So, uh... And it's been stuck there since Calgary. How do you know? Because that's when we started losing air. Oh. <laughs> um... And we're halfway across BC. Been there like at least a week, two. Well, the yellow Jeep people came again and uh, when they got back with their boat, they gave us three trout this time. So <laughs> that's for dinner again. <laughs> this time they gave us their, their um, license number so we wouldn't get in trouble in case fishing came shut up because we were really worried about that last night because <laughs> we're like well we didn't catch them i like <laughs> snuck into the bushes and finished cleaning them up because this uh the we heard these motors coming down the road and then as i got closer i could hear that it was like a two-stroke motor which i figured a game warden wouldn't be riding a Motorcycle. motorcycle. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it, we had it was a little funny. scare. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> so, I'm going to go clean these up. I'll spare you guys the gory details. Yeah. Man, Canadians are so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Trout, rice, and cornbread stuffing. So, we're just sitting here thinking, who gets a lake pretty much to themselves? Like, ain't nobody here now. There wasn't anybody here last night. You know, a couple people came through the day. But the people that came through the day brought us fish. Who camps at a lake by themselves and gets fish delivered to them? <laughs> It was amazing. I mean, we had to clean it ourselves. But well, yeah, no but... No problem. <laughs> but fish delivery at this lake. You guys, uh, you need to sign up for staying at this lake. Because <laughs> uh, it's like... It's like a five-star resort here. <laughs> it really is. And it's free. Yeah, and it's free. It's free camping. Yeah. And they have pit toilets and barbecue pits. Like... Yeah, picnic tables. It's super cool. And you just sit here and you watch watch the fish jump and the beaver swims by every once in a while. Yeah. The little chipmunk guys. Comes to visit and the birds. Yeah. But tomorrow we gotta gotta do a work day, a library day. Probably a couple library days in a row. Um Yeah. I forgot to mention the loons. Oh, yeah, the there, loons. There is something just, like, chilling about hearing a loon. Just, like, being out here in the quiet, watching the calm waters of the lake. And then you hear that, like, haunting call of the loons. And it's just... Like, something out of a movie. It's... 
Incredible. Yeah. And we don't know what's next. We we really don't. <laughs> uh, but hit subscribe so you can watch and follow along, and you guys will see what's next. Y'all guys. Y'all guys. <laughs> y'all. 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 You guys will see what's next. Um, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram, Threads, Facebook, TikTok, and Patreon if you're feeling generous. Uh, Patreon really helps our journey. And we will see you. There was a mosquito. We will see you on the next one. Bye now. Bye now. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. It was. Ha, 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 ha.